Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the town of Sunderland. Tonight is a regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Board of Selectmen. Uh, the date is August 8th, 2016. Uh, we will call to order at 638. Um, I, we, we have our first guest um, is a very important guest. Um, if, you, if you own a home and you have issues that you haven't been able to get to, safety issues or, or uh, wellness issues, uh, mold or, or leaky roofs or windows that are causing problems, a whole host of things. Sunderland has been partnered for many years with other towns in Franklin County and, and we have what they call community development um, block grants and we call them CDBGs. Um, so we talk, after we've been around you just CDBGs is so much more, it's easier to say, but they are truly one of the, um, one of the best kept secrets, I think, um, around. And basically, Pam is here to talk about this next round. They're looking for homeowners that um, are in need of work to be done, no energy loans. So Pam is the director of the Community Development of Franklin County. Um, your show. Thank you. Thanks for um, inviting us. So, um, Thanks for that great introduction in, to the program. So the Community Development Block Grant is a federally funded program. <clears throat> it's highly competitive. Um, the, the funds on the federal level are distributed to the state, and then the state awards uh, funds each year to individual towns, and that's the part that's um, super competitive. Um, Sunderland is what's called uh, um, CDF2, it's, it's uh, based on your community-wide need scores. Those are um, driven by the state and um, what, what drives that is unemployment, uh, income ratio, and um, other things um, dealing with the characteristics of the town. So a CDF2 application is more competitive than any other application last year. Um, across the state, there was $2.7 million that was distributed. Uh, in the CDF2 applications. Um, usually they're funded around 30 to 40 percent of the uh, towns uh, that actually apply, that go through that whole process of applying. So um, we're getting ready now to look at our 2017 regional grant. There's a, uh, some of the neighboring towns were interested in being part of a regional CDF2 application. Sunderland um, hasn't participated in an application since 2013. Um, in the past, working with the Housing Authority, you were funded um, uh, four, four times in the past uh, as part of regional applications. And again, what those grant funds do is it's a, it's a it's a fast train is what I sort of describe it. Once um, a town is awarded those monies, the activities are identified in the application itself. The housing authority um, has in the past always written housing rehab um, loans as part of one of the activities within the grant and then usually a social service activity um, as a second activity in the grant. The grant does require at least two activities to be uh, competitive uh, as part of the grant cycle. <coughs> so some of the um, social service activities that have been more recently funded is a, a, a fuel assistance program that's being delivered from Community Action. Yep. There's um, Meals on Wheels programs that um, are delivered through uh, Life Path. There's been, um, I guess I should look at these, uh, There's, there's been some other um, social services, but the, those two programs have been the most popular, and um, so those were, you guys have, uh, Sunderland has also demonstrated 
through um, your community development strategy that those are um, goals that the town um, has wanted to adopt in the past to um, actually find funds that would allow um, participants in the town to um, be finding funds that could help with uh, fuel assistance and, and um, home delivered meals. The, um, what Tom was talking about was the um, housing rehab portion of the loan, which is um, very popular in the housing authority has delivered 2,600 um, housing rehab loans um, throughout Franklin County um, as part of this community development block grant over the years. Um, and as, as you described, some of the things that homeowners would be able to um, do to their homes are new roofs, new windows, um, energy upgrades, uh, health and uh, code issues. It, um, it's delivered to, the, to a home in the form of a mortgage. There's a mortgage that's attached to the property. It's, um, in the past, Sunderland has adopted a policy that 50% of the um, mortgage is forgiven a 15th of a year, each year for 15 years, and the other um, portion of that loan is um, due if the property transfers. The loans are deferred. So, um, and, and the biggest qualification is that a homeowner has to be income qualified. So it's, uh, the income qualifications are at or below 80% of area median income. As part of the application, um, it's to be competitive, the demonstration of the need for, um, for the funds to be delivered to the town um, have, to, have to come in play as part of this application. So currently, we, we have um, one household that's on the wait list in, in Sunderland. In the past, um, usually anywhere from four to six households have access to funds during an active grant period. Um, so I think that probably at this point, if, if the town is interested in taking those next steps, is to, if there are households that are interested, to contact the Housing Authority, get a pre-application, and to um, start demonstrating that need. I would say that probably um, sometime by mid-September, we would have to establish that need to um, be able to include Sunderland as part of the application. And um, again, because Sunderland has participated in past grants, um, and it, it has been able to, to find the need here. So um, I'm just wondering if maybe it's just because the last time the grant was funded was in 2013, it was closed out um, in 2014 is when that grant closed. Okay, so it's, it's only a short time that um, the wait list has been accumulating. Well, one of our one of our things are especially our seniors. Sure. We have a joint um, senior center with Deerfield and and Waitley. Um, I, I was wondering, we have transportation issues, severe. I mean, getting people to the senior, get them back from the back because Sunderland is. Uh, um, we belong to the PVTA, yeah. Waitley and and Deerfield are FRTA. So, and is there a way, would, would we be able to look for a CDBG to purchase a van and driver for the three towns? Would that something that we could look at doing? I haven't seen one be funded ever. So, um, and because we're so late for the 2017 grants now, what, I'm thinking yeah. for in the future. Yeah, yeah, I can look into that for you. Though. Could you? And, yeah. I, and, yeah. And I'm just. And, and I can let Sherry know if um, if if there's if that's a possible activity. I don't see where one has ever been funded before, but that's not to say that I couldn't look into the activity and see. Well, that's that decide. that's our one of our biggest things with sure. with our seniors, a that we're a rural area, you know, so we're not a, so. So transportation is is definitely an issue, sure. especially that people that it may 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 be homebound. Yeah, it, yeah. it's very difficult. So maybe that's something that we can look at in the future, also. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Okay. And we can't we can't help but ask, you know. Yeah, of if course. they say no, if they say no, you say, well, why not, you know? For the housing rehabilitation things, what's the best way for somebody if they're watching to contact you? 
Um, Sherry has put the, um, the the flyer for housing rehab yep. up on your website. I mean, that guy yep. right there? There you okay. go. Um, so it's up on the town website. Um, I do believe okay. that uh, it's at the library now. And the post There's office. There's um, further okay. applications that are um, in a pile downstairs here at town hall also. Okay. Um, or, or if somebody's so inclined and they just want to go on to the, um, our website, they can also um, pick up an application or at least call somebody directly who can right, to help talk them to through them. that process. Okay, good. Thank you. So. And, and, and again, in my, my opinion, it, and the, these, for housing rehabs, um, it is income, it is income based. It is income based, correct. Um, so one person, if you're as a single person, uh, it limits uh, 46,000, two people, it's six, Fifty-two thousand six hundred dollars. Three people is fifty-nine thousand one hundred fifty dollars, and four persons sixty-five thousand seven hundred dollars. But, and and I have known people that have taken advantage of these programs in the past. It's it's no interest. That's right. Uh, they you could have lead if you, especially if you have small children. You have lead that you want to get lead out of the windows or or the paint. You can uh, do do a uh, um, a lead, um, lead, do a de -lead, de lead program. If potentially, if you want to go have well water and you want to go on town water, they may be able to help you with doing that. Yeah. There, it, especially if there's health or safety, um, electrical. If you have, um, if you have knob and tube in your home, and instead of, or if you have a fuse box instead of a circuit breaker. Right. If they're, they're and, and if you live in an older home, um, you're on a fixed income, you need a new roof. These are failed all systems is another huge like, like failed one septic. And, and I, I yeah. the seat failed heating systems is right. And, yeah. and and you can look at them in a lot of different ways. We are very the most seniors in our community and in, in, in the communities that reside around us are very very proud. Uh, people a lot of some of them went through the depression um they don't like necessarily they don't like handouts yeah. um that's okay because if you want to pay back you can sure we're not we're not we're right, not print right, right. and it's a zero percent it's a zero interest loan that's right for the thing so or um it can be paid back when the, the property changes hands it's it, it it actually is due if the property transfers hands so right to, to your point, it's just a really great program because um, when you're faced with, with an emergency repair, I mean, it's it's so difficult to just be able to come up with $19,000 or a, if you have a $25,000 repair, I mean, to just think that, you know, people just have that liquid cash that they can just, you know, put out for these repairs. And Absolutely. it's just a way to make your home safe, keep you in your home safely, and to access funds that you know could potentially be available. And, and again, it's not just for seniors. No. If it could be young That's families right. just starting Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Yeah. You may need new stairs. Maybe the stairs into the house need to be replaced, or um, you need a new front door, or stairs to the basement. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Right. Or maybe you need to redo the bathroom. Yeah. Those are all potentials. And and, and they'll also be uh, working with a housing rehab specialist that's assigned to their um, project from from the housing authority. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a homeowner and I know sometimes I'm like, wow, did, did they do a good job on that? So it's really nice to be able to have a special, you know, specialist in place that's also going, right. you know what, I think you're gonna need to make these changes to a general contractor. Again, I, so, I, you know, it's just a great program. The CDBGs, I, I think, are an amazing opportunity um, for all our, you know, all of our qualified res residents, and 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 there's some some things that you probably never thought you'd be able to do, you can all of a sudden do. So, yeah. make your house a, a better, safer place. Good. Okay. So, um, if if the town does um, want to explore those next steps, um, then then there is action required by you by you all as of a course. board. And then um, I'll, I'll work directly with Sherry um, 
You're also working um, currently with FERCOG to update your community development strategies. Yep. And um, what drives that um, in the future is there'll be um, more um, public input too, more opportunities for some more public input. So, but um, meanwhile, I can't stress enough that for Sunderland to um, be part of an application, there, there does need to be a demonstration of need. So. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Pam, thanks for coming to visit us. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. All right. I, and and I hope hope we'll get we'll have a. It's unfortunate we could get to a list, but I'm glad we can. Get, if we can get to a list, I'm glad that we can that you came and we let people know. So Great. thank you. Thank you so much again. Thank you very much, Pam. Okay, next up, uh, Scott. Scott is not here this evening, so we'll wait on on that. Board of Selectmen updates, David. Um, the only update I have is our solar stuff is ready to be signed finally. So, uh, actually, will be a little groundbreaking day. Yeah. Kickoff is meeting scheduled for August 22nd at 11 o'clock at the Sunderland Elementary See that? School. Look at that. Bring your hard hat. <laughs> yeah, right. So that's good. Okay. Um, Sherry, any update on, on 120 North Main Street? There's a meeting tomorrow night, 6.30. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, I'm all set. Um, town administrator updates? Um, we received um, bids for diesel and gas, and the low bid for gas was Sandry at $1.99 plus tax per gallon, and uh, Karis for diesel at $1.89 plus tax. Um, and we also have um, from Constellation mm -hmm. supplier services quote um, we're currently in a two-year contract which will end in December yep and the renewal prices uh, for a two-year contract beginning in December are about nine cents per kilowatt hour um, so I don't know if that's something that you would like to entertain now. Um, have, you, have you looked around to see what other prices are available out there? Uh, there is another broker um, that is willing to quote if you want to look at sure. other prices other than Constellation. Yeah. Okay. How will that kick in with our solar? Because that ought to be kicking yeah. in too. I don't know how that, I guess they'd have to tell us how, you okay. know, if that affects that at all. I think we did check that and there was no impact because it's That's supplier thought, services, but, yeah. but I'll double check just to make sure with Beth. Yeah, you never know. Okay. Thanks. Because I suspect they'll want to be up and live as soon as possible right. with that stuff, so. That's it. That's all I have. Okay. Um. <laughs> We have correspondence from the town clerk concerning records access officers. Sherry, uh -huh. what can you tell us about records access officers? Um, well, beginning January 1st, the new open meeting uh, public records law is going to take into a, uh, come into effect, and each board committee or commission is going to need to um, appoint someone to help coordinate any public records requests. Um, I know that Kobelman and Page is going to be doing some training sessions in the area in the near future. Wonderful. Um, so as more information becomes available um, and training sessions are scheduled, we'll send that out. But I think uh, what Wendy's looking for right now is um, for everybody to think about who in their department, committee, commission would be responsible for helping to coordinate that request. Okay. Can you make sure uh, so that goes back on that starts January first? January first. Right. Make sure we revisit it no later than J November, please. And uh, can we send this this same this letter that the town clerk sent us? Can we also s distribute it to all the committees and boards and let them know that this is what we're starting to think about and uh, what the town clerk is recommending? Okay. 
Sergeant Lyons and disposable disposal of surplus equipment. Yes, we have a request here from Sergeant Lyons regarding disposal of surplus equipment. The police department no longer has a use for the 1988 Ford F-350 crew cab. We are asking that this vehicle be is disposed of in a manner that the board deems appropriate. It is unknown at this time if the vehicle runs. Estimated value is $500 to $1,000 if the vehicle runs. If not, the estimated value is three dollars to $400. There you go. That has 52,697 miles if anybody's interested. There is actually interest. Uh -huh. Someone stopped by the office yeah, to okay. inquire, and that's kind of how this got I, started. I figured there'd be something. It's yeah. like, oh, we'd love to get rid of this. So, so right. how, what, what, does our, what does our policy say for less than? Uh, uh, the uh, board can either put it out to bid or auction. What? Isn't there like a minimum or something yeah. that we have to? Valued less than a thousand. We're just going to hit a thousand if it runs, based yeah. on the estimate. So, okay. Okay. How about if we? Uh, I would. Uh, I would accept a motion to declare it surplus, and to uh, solicit bids for two weeks. All right. Uh, and uh, post post a notice. Um, Website? At the no, at the on the website, but also the locations normally uh, mm -hmm. normally uh, used to post the uh, town meeting warrants. How about that? Uh, motion. Second. Any discussion? What do you think, Sherry? Doable. Doable, sure. Okay. We can manage. Motion that. made, seconded, and uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. I can't wait to get rid of that. <laughs> Two zero. <laughs> Uh, right. Highway Highway Laborer. <clears throat> All right, this is to the Board of Selectmen from George Emery, Highway Superintendent, regarding a full-time position. I'd like to recommend Bradley S. Wallace for the full-time position as a driver laborer for the Town of Sunderland Highway Department. I also recommend his starting rate be $17 an hour with an increase to $18.34 an hour after satisfactory six-month review. I believe filling this position with Mr. Wallace will bring our Highway Department to a higher level of service for the Town of Sunderland. He currently works for the Town of Conway Highway Department and has obtained a CDL permit, dot card, hoisting license 2A and 4G, chainsaw safety course, and welding course. Mr. Wallace has expressed his eagerness to work for the town and to obtain any additional licenses and or training certificates required. So this, this position was uh, advertised and it's been out there for a while since uh, Eddie retired, so... Uh, yep. I would accept a motion. Uh, motion. I received a motion which is seconded to appoint Bradley S. Wallace full-time position as driver labor for Town of Sunderland Highway Department per the Town of Sunderland high, uh, personnel uh, bylaws. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Bradley, congratulations. Hope you can start tomorrow. <laughs> George, that's <laughs> <I> bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, highway superintendent, we did that. Um, plumbing inspector alternate appointment. All right, this is uh, to the Board of Selectmen from Cindy Bennett, the admin. Regarding plumbing inspector alternate appointment, I am writing on behalf of the plumbing inspector who is requesting the board appoint an alternate plumbing inspector. Currently, there is not an alternate appointed. Mr. Baranowski requests the alternate appointment of Jason Wallace effective immediately. Mr. Wallace holds appropriate licenses and is willing to serve the town of Sunderland. No other individuals have expressed interest in serving in this position. Thank you for your consideration. Motion? Uh, motion. We Sorry. have a motion to appoint Jason Wallace as the uh, alternate plumbing and gas inspector. Um, at the present time, he has a uh, master's license. He had a journeyman's license, he has a master's license, he has all those required state training and certification. Yeah. Motion has been made, I will second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. We have ourselves a alternate plumbing inspector, plumbing and gas inspector. There you go. 
Well, don't can't forget that gas I part. Oh, that's an important part. <laughs> well, and we have gas in town. Yep. All right, next up, update board of selectmen goals. We're going to hold off until next week. Yep. Um, energy performance notes for approval from uh, refinancing, refunding to permanent. Where do we stand with that, Sherry? What is it? The energy performance? Yeah, energy performance. Those notes, notes were right. downstairs, yep, just yeah. for you to sign. Yeah. And the, um, yeah. oh, the uh, election, election officer. Office. Yep. Yeah. This is to the Board of Selectmen from Wendy Hool, the town clerk. In accordance with Massachusetts General Law Chapter 54, Section 12, Election Officers in Towns, I am submitting the following list of people who are willing to serve as election workers. The term of office is from September 1, 2016 to August 31, 2017. For Democrats, Barbara Howey, Alan Richards, Mary Gunderson, Ronald Howey, Christine Drake, Susan Triolo, and Stana Wheeler. For Republicans, Deborah Bennett, William Sillen, Barbara Schultz, Edward Gately, Pam Parsons, Donna McKemmy. For the unenrolled, Carol Cushy, Christina Snover, and Jean McEnany. McEnany, excuse me, sorry. There's the slate. And I will second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. We have voted 2 0. Democrat, Republican, unenrolled election officers. Thanks to them for volunteering. It's going to be a busy season this year. Um, Sherry, I think that does it for tonight, That's doesn't it. it? We didn't want to wait too long tonight. No, oh, good job. Sherry's got a long ride home. Any questions? Back our room. Marina, any questions? You all set? Okay. Are all you, right. Is it okay if we adjourn now? Uh, all right. Okay. We a have a motion to adjourn under duress. We have a motion to adjourn under duress because David would like to stay here for yeah, the rest for of the hours. Evening. I will second. <laughs> All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. <laughs> We're going to have to hate you to run for a Slackman Sunday. You know that? You, you, when you're going in school in the fall time, you're going to have a lot of free time. You know, no <laughs> homework. You won't have any classes to study yeah. for or anything. So <laughs> you could run for Slackman. <laughs> right? So we have a vote and it was 2 0. Please adjourn us at uh, 7 0 3.